Hi everyone, Adam with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Fulton Snap Ring Swivel Marine Jack. And this is going to be ideal for some of the more lighter weight boats, marine products, or any kind of trailer that you have. Just because it is going to have about 400 pounds of weight capacity, but just the fact that it is going to be a fixed height. So we're not going to be able to jack it up. So for those heavier loads, I would definitely recommend getting one with one of those jacks there. This one is just going to stay at about 15 inches above the ground. We are going to have some adjustability with the mounting hardware that is included. And that's also going to be made of steel. It's going to resist against rust and corrosion. So we are going to have a swivel feature with our wheel here. And it is going to be able to pivot all the way around which is going to be nice. It will just kind of make it a little bit easier to move your lightweight trailers just to and from wherever you need it and just make those little micro adjustments to get it next to your ball. This tire is going to put up with all the stuff that you guys might be putting it through. There might be some cracks in the driveway, but with this hard plastic, I do think it is going to last a decently long time. We are going to have another feature, which once we get this up on to our vehicle, you just pull this just like so, and it's going to be able to rotate and it will snap into place. So you should be ready to go down the road. And just depending on what kind of trailer you guys have, we do have options. You can either put it back, you can put it up, you can put it forward, and of course, we can put it down. Alrighty, so you guys were wondering what kind of trailers these are going to be able to fit. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a bunch of measurements. So first of all, we are only going to be able to have about three inches thick of a frame on our trailer before we're going to run out of bolts here. So with that, also, we are only going to be able to go down to frame sizes about an inch and a half with the included hardware. As you see, the threads stop right about here. So if you did want to get different hardware, if you have a smaller frame trailer, all you need is just to go to the local hardware store and just grab the same exact bolt, but just with more threads on it. Also, I'm going to go ahead and measure from the middle of this top hole to the middle of every single one of these holes so you guys can see if it's going to work with your trailer. So right here, get down. So from the center of the top one to the center of the first one is going to be about two and a quarter inches. From the center of the top one to the center of the second one, three and a quarter inches. Center of the top. Center of the third one, it's going to be about four and one eighth inches. And then from the center of the top to the center of our very most bottom hole is going to be about five and a quarter inches. So after messing with this thing, it's just another one of those trailer jacks. The one thing I don't love about it is just the fact that it is a fixed height. Yes, it is meant for your lighter weight trailers, but honestly, there are other options on our website around the same type of class, but one in particular is actually going to have an actual crank on one side and it's going to give you about 10 inches of travel, which is definitely going to be a plus. I just like having that feature and they really are pretty much in the same class. So if you're looking at this one, honestly, just go with the other one, in my opinion, just because it has a little bit more features that I would like in a trailer. But at the end of the day, it's all about what you guys want and it is pretty easy to install. So let's just go ahead and get it done right now. So the first thing that we want to do is just go ahead and make sure everything's here. We're going to have four bolts. We're going to have two brackets. We're going to have one wheel and the rest of the hardware should be on the end here. So I'm just going to start by just mounting it up. Uh, I am replacing an old one. It was kind of ratted away and rusty, but it was placed in the right spot. So I'm going to line it up with the old spot. But obviously, if you think there's a better place on your trailer, Put it there. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of just line it up just like that. What we're going to do is we're going to take our bolts here, just take the nut off of one side. What I'm going to do is put the top two in first. 
just like that. And on the other side, we're going to put flat part towards the frame of this trailer, like that. And then do the same with the other side. And then you can go ahead and just thread this nut on. It is a nylon lock nut. So I say just get it down to where it kind of locks into place. Do that on both sides. And I am kind of holding this thing up a little bit while I'm doing so. All right. So now what we can do is take our other bolts and do the same exact thing. So as you can see, we have multiple different mounting holes. So even if you have a thicker or thinner trailer than the one you see here, we are going to be able to fit that. So do the same thing, just fish those through. Be sure to go to the hole straight across, just like that. Perfect. And go ahead and thread that on. So now we can go ahead and get it to where we want it. Again, I'm just gonna put it where the old one sat, just like that. And we are going to take a 15 millimeter socket and wrench to get these tightened down. I'm not gonna tighten them all the way initially. I'm just gonna kinda teeter-totter from one to the other just to make sure it's gonna be on there nice and even. Before moving forward, we do want to make sure that we aren't going to have any movement in these brackets here. And they're pretty solid. So now all we got to do is put the wheel on. Pretty simple. Just down low. Take that off. There's going to be a little sleeve in there. We are going to just fit it through that hole like so. And it's going to allow it to spin around this bolt which is going to be very helpful, especially when we put weight on it. So with that inserted, kind of slide it in there, get that bolt through there like that. It's gonna be a bigger nut and bolt. So we are going to have to convert to a 19 millimeter. Just like that. And Just like that, we are pretty much done. I hope this video helped you guys just understand what this jack is going to do for you and maybe show you what you do like and what you don't like about these jacks.